Alan Ruby is in McAllister in prison, charged with three counts of first degree murder. You'll remember this story of last year where he killed his parents and his sister. A new turn of the crank on this story. Joining me now, Nolan Clay from The Oklahoman. You've been covering this case from the beginning. You wrote a letter to Alan Ruby earlier this week, and let's start there. What did you outline in this letter? Well, I wrote him a letter after the preliminary hearing in June where the judge decided after hearing that he had confessed that there That's was right. It was the end of June. My bad. It wasn't this week. You're right. That was uh, after his preliminary hearing. I wrote him the letter saying, uh, hey, you were weeping throughout the preliminary hearing. Uh, it made me wonder, as I put it, uh, that you may welcome the death penalty, that you think you deserve it. So I asked him directly, do you think you should die? And he responded in a handwritten letter that was returned to me in an envelope that I had self-addressed, so I'm confident from him, and it's his handwriting. He writes, I 100% welcome the death penalty. What occurred is so horrible, it is deserved. It is so unspeakable. And then he goes on with other comments, too. A handwritten letter from Alan Ruby uh, from prison to our reporter here, Nolan Clay. Nolan, a veteran reporter of decades of covering all sorts of, of crime stories, other stories and scoops. I want to talk about the journalism side of this real fast. Um, common practice to send uh, letters to various people just to sort of see, hey, what, what sort of response can I get? You do so in the big cases sometimes. Okay. Uh, lots of times they're not going to respond, and, and their attorney, in this case, his attorney did not want him to uh, uh, respond, correspond with any media, and uh, I reminded him of that in the letter, and uh, he says that he's, he, he knows that his attorney will probably be fuming. And so did you mention this to the attorney, hey, I've, I've received a letter? Yes, the attorney was uh, is, a, is a good attorney. His name is Mitch Solomon. He's a court-appointed attorney. Uh, I think he is upset. Uh, he had, couldn't comment, though, because there's a, a gag order. So, uh, but uh, I'm sure. He did not want his client uh, corresponding. I know other people, have, other media have reached out to this uh, young man. He was featured in uh, an article about him, was featured in People magazine, so it's got lots of national attention. So others have been writing him. Uh, early on, I wrote him after the preliminary hearing so I could relate some of the things that happened in the preliminary hearing to him, uh, like basically him crying the whole, the whole time. I think that's why he responded to me. He said that uh, uh, his tears were real, and that he, I lost my entire family at once. How could they not be real? I also asked him, uh, because he's uh, an admitted shopaholic, if uh, shopping was uh, the, his need for money was the reason b behind it. Asked him, you know, was that some yeah. fuel, fueling some of his motive? What I was his response him, to that? I asked him flat out, why did you do it in the first place? And I, and I said, was your addiction to shopping that bad? And he responded, this didn't happen because of shopping. My shopping wasn't something I or my parents could not pay. He did say that they thought his spending was out of control, and it was. Uh, to finish the rest of the, uh, sometimes you can't exactly know what his answer is responding to what part of my letter, but uh, he continues that I didn't feel like myself that day. This was not something that seemed like a, conce a conceivable option. I asked him why, and he goes, why? I'm still trying to work it out, trying to figure all of this out. Some insight into the thinking of Alan Ruby via some correspondence with the Oklahomans Nolan Clay. The next turn of the crank on this, Nolan, is the arraignment in August, is that correct? Yes, he'll be back in court in August. Uh, they may set a trial date at that point, or they may uh, set a date to set a trial date. Got some more coverage from Nolan Clay in the Oklahoman. And you can find more coverage, including archive coverage of this, online at newsok.com.